All right, here we go, Eric Spears. Welcome back to Vlad TV. With a different fucking shirt on. <laughs> People give you a hard time about the outfit sometimes, man. Listen, man, I always wear the black T-shirt with the McDonald's because that's part of my brand, dude. That's right. something I sell online at my shows. So I'm going to pump my own shit. There you go. There you yeah. go. Lots to talk about today. Before we get started, we got to take care of the business. Okay, let's do it. Make sure y'all slide in my DMs on Instagram so I can give you the links to the Spears and Steinberg podcast. Also, check out my YouTube channel, Spearsburg Pod. Hit like and subscribe. I'll chop it up with you. Available on all streaming platforms. And most of all, start from the beginning. It's like masturbation and potato chips. Once you start, you won't be able to stop. Start from the beginning. Go in order. I promise you it'll serve you well comedically. What up? Yeah, and me and you are actually talking about doing our podcast. Where yes. I, I'll be on camera as well. Yes. Yes. I'm uh, looking forward to it. In a couple of months. A lot we'll of y'all have been saying and asking, yeah. Yo, you and Vlad should do a podcast. We about to get it in. In the works. In the works. Yeah. So like I said, a lot to talk about today. Yes. But first, we have to talk about the big boxing announcement. Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul <sighs> on Netflix. I believe it's in June, June or July. Yeah. 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 So we have a few months. You know, they're both right. in training camp right now. I did a poll on my Twitter. Thousands of people voted. 75% of the people said Mike Tyson. Yeah. Now, Tyson is 57. Jake Paul 27. is 27. 30 year difference. Yes. Who you got? Okay. You know, I, I know later on we're going to talk about the other Mike because I got I love my two Mics. Yeah. Tyson and Jordan. Yes. And, and, I, and I'm going to say a little bit now what I'm going to say about Tyson when I talk about Jordan, which is this. Listen, Tyson's my era. I'm an 80s baby. Yeah. All throughout the 80s, bleeding into the 90s. Tyson is my guy. Uh, when I say I love me some Mike Tyson, God damn it, I love me some Mike Tyson. What makes me nervous, and you know, when you look at the footage of him on social media hitting the bag in the mitts, he, I mean, obviously he's 57. So he don't have the 27-year-old speed he used to have, but for a 57-year-old, he's very fucking fast. Yeah. And, the, and George Foreman, I saw him on a clip where he was hitting the bag, and he said the last thing that ever age is the power. So Mike still got the power, and he still has the speed. My question is, does he have the endurance? Because I'm a quote from one of my favorite movies, Bloodsport, Bolo Young, <laughs> when, when Van Damme hit the brick and did the, the trick. He goes, very good, but brick not hit back. <laughs> so hitting the bag in the mitts and looking impressive is one thing. And listen, everybody's going, Jake Paul is a YouTuber. Mike going to whip his ass, blah, blah, blah. I want to see me. I want to see Jake Paul get his ass whooped too. But here's the thing. When Jake Paul first started, he was a little sloppy and he wasn't as well put together as he is now with his body, his posture, his technique. So my biggest fear is that Mike doesn't have the endurance and somewhere late he catches Mike and Mike gets knocked out. I don't want to see that because I love me some Mike Tyson. But I'm saying this. If Mike can slip dip and catch him with the right shot, it's still Mike Tyson. He still has a punch and shot of getting him to fuck up out of there. And I would love to see it. Because, you know, everybody's like, you know, he's a YouTuber. He ain't fought nobody serious. You know, when he knocked out Nate Robinson, come on, man. That, that, that's well, a, he that's had a, a lot of he had a lot of fights after that. In fact, well, that's what I'm saying. He he's, lost his last fight. Did he? Yeah, hold on a second. Well, I mean, yeah, but since then he's got that's what I'm saying. All those fights after Nate Robinson, which him fighting Nate Robinson was like a grown man fighting a Keebler elf. That should have never happened. But he's gotten better. He's gotten fine-tuned. Is he still, a, 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 I think, a formidable, respectable opponent? Nah. But he's 27, so he's got youth on his side. And uh, his technique has gotten better. He's gotten stronger as far as that goes. So that's why I'm worried about it. Okay, so last February, he lost to Tommy Fury. Dude, I'm 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 so I'm so lost in terms of other than Dante Wilder. <laughs> oh, and Tyson Fury, the white guy. Yeah, this is Tommy Fury, not Tyson. Oh, okay, okay. See, this is what I'm saying. He uh, wouldn't fight. He wouldn't fight Tyson. Other Fury. than Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, dude, I don't really follow the heavyweight division. Like I used to, because to me it's just not as interesting. Right. There's Nganu who recently knocked that one dude out. Okay, the guy that yeah. Tyson was training. Exactly. Right. 
Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's an interesting situation. And I think it really comes down to this. Because, for example, I interviewed Evander Holyfield. I wish he would stop. Did you see his last fight? Wait, Evander fought again? I, 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 unless this clip is uh, uh, super duper old, I think he just fought somebody. Uh, yeah, and, and got January. Dusted. Mm. See, Evander don't look as impressive as Mike does now. Yeah. You know well, what I'm saying? No, I mean, I've been in, he, he's still in very good shape. It don't matter about the shape. I don't know about how he, he looks in the ring because I haven't seen him in the ring recently. This last fight, I saw the clip. That, it was, he got mopped. Well, I'll, I'll say this, though. And something similar got said when I interviewed Buster Douglas. Right. And what they both said, particularly Vander, was that when he got in that ring, he wasn't scared of Mike. No. That's where Mike wins a lot of his fights. I think people are just scared yeah, but I hate to be when, in the I, ring I, with him. I hate when people say that as though there wasn't reason to be. No. There, there was, was a reason, stretch of Mike is, Tyson's career there is where reason he won to be. 14 consecutive fights within the first round. I get it. I get it. But that intimidation and also the fact that, yeah, he just pounces on you and 30 seconds in, it's He's over. He's a human pit bull. Yes. But if you go in there not scared, and that's what Evander said, because they had actually sparred when they were, like, much younger. Right. And even then, he wasn't scared of him. He said he was good, but right. he wasn't scared of him. So he came in this fight and showed Tyson right off the bat that I'm not scared of you. You he know said what bothers once me. Tyson show realizes you're not scared of him, it becomes a totally different yeah, fight. Yeah, I know people like to run with that narrative, but the, the thing that's unfortunate, and, and this is where I, I, I read a lot of comments whenever there's anything about Mike Tyson, he's the most overrated champion in the world because he never really fought anybody, and the people that he did fight, that's not they true. counted Lennox, Evander, they beat him. Yeah. First of all, and I say this, come on, man, we all know there's uh, pre-prison Tyson, and post-prison Tyson. Pre-prison Tyson. Pre-prison Tyson trained under Kevin Rooney, under the tutelage of Jimmy Jacobs, Teddy Atlas, Custom Motto, yeah. knocks out Jesus. <laughs> Nobody's fucking with that mic. Right. And and but it's unfortunate because you when you try to make the, the argument of coulda, woulda, shoulda, and ifs, everybody goes, well, coulda, woulda, shoulda, and if. But he didn't. But I'm sitting there going, come on, man, do the gut test. Do the eye test. Go with your gut. When Mike Tyson was with Kevin Rooney and was focused, no cocaine, no drugs, no women, yeah, he was an animal. I wish he would have fought uh, Holyfield before prison, Lennox before prison, Riddick Bowe, Foreman, because I believe he would have beat all those guys. But the Mike Tyson after prison, even when I read his book, which was an amazing read, he was like, dude, 90% of the time I was coked up. I, did, I was doing it for the money. I really didn't want to fight. The fire wasn't burning in me still. I was too, a trap was chasing women. Come on, man. And keep in mind, in perspective, when he finally retired, he still, his record, I think it was 56 and five. Yeah. 56 and five. Yeah. And this is him, unfocused, cocaine, not really interested. <laughs> so come on, man. Head tiger. <laughs> come on, man. Mike was a beast. Right. Okay, so who you got your money on? Tyson or Jake Paul? I'm going to go with Tyson. You can go with Tyson? But I'm going to be nervous. <laughs> I'm going to be nervous. Because look, when he fought Roy Jones, I don't know if you remember. Of course I remember. But these are two old dudes. He went easy on Roy Jones. I felt you he think he did? I felt he could have knocked out Roy Jones. I felt he was almost holding him up by the end. He just didn't want to do But do Mike dirty. did look winded, though. Yeah, by the end. Right. He looked like an older man. Right. By the end. Yeah. But he did all 12 rounds. Against another older man. Yes. Now you doing? We talking about twelve rounds against a twenty-seven year old. Yep. Jake is not going to take this as a joke. Oh he no. He's going to train his ass. Off. Absolutely. But you know, it's it's like uh, when he fought Mayweather. I forget the Giante. I want to say Giante Davis. But at one point, when Jake Paul thought he had Mayweather hurt. No, no, no. It wasn't Jake Paul. It was Logan Paul. Oh, I'm sorry, Logan Paul. Yes. When he thought he had Mayweather. Totally different person. We're talking. Are these, are we, these are two different people. We talking brothers. About? Yeah, there's Logan oh, Paul and Jake shit. Paul. Yes. Logan Paul's the one that's doing more WWE stuff now. Okay, so but the yeah, guy he, fighting Tyson Logan is Jake. Paul, yeah, Logan Paul fought Mayweather and lost. Okay. Right. Jake Paul. Who has the better record? Jake with, Paul. Okay. Yeah. I thought this whole time it was Logan Paul. No. Damn. All white people look the same to you, I guess. Uh, <laughs> some of y'all do. <laughs> Either way, I'm saying they're both still young. Yes. Still putting some time. Right. 
Um, and, you know, the, like I said, my only fact is Tyson's 57. So yeah. endurance. Yeah. If he can get him early, uh, I give it to Tyson all day. But if he gets tired, that's what scares me. That'd be wild. Mike's better than that, man. Mike's, Mike's <laughs> found his feng shui, man. He ain't, he ain't wanting to rape kids no more. He good. Step on testicles. He's good, man. Yeah. <laughs>